Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. In this particular chapter, we will focus on voice gateways and signaling protocol. Signaling protocol is one of the most important part of the unified communication infrastructure. It provides set of instructions between how two devices will communicate and the primary uh, capabilities that they can support. The signaling protocol that we will talk about is H323 protocol, MGCP media gateway call control protocol, gatekeeper, and SIP gateways. Now H323, which is one of the most uh, uh, oldest protocol and the most mature protocol in the market that is still widely used very, by various uh, vendors around the globe. Certain countries use H323 more than any other protocol that exists. So here we will, talk, we will discuss about the H323 protocol architecture, call flows, the codecs that are used and supported in H323, configuring H323 on Cisco gateways, and customizing H323 to fine-tune our voice network. We will verify the configuration by showing you real a live configuration between a call manager and, and a gateway. Now, H323 protocol is based on ITU standard, or International Telecommunication Standard Protocol. It is designed based on ISDN Q.931. Now, w those who are familiar with ISDN technology will see the configuration of NH323 quite easy. It is a mature, mature protocol and widely used worldwide because it's one of the oldest protocols in the market. Now, H323 is a vendor neutral. Basically, most vendors H H323 gateway uh, more likely will work much better. More likely, we will, we will work it with each other compared to any other protocol that exists. Now, it is a peer-to-peer -peer architecture, which is which is one of the most important aspect of the H H323. Now, when I say peer-to-peer, -peer, so I'm talking about peer-to-peer -peer being what this gateway has no knowledge about this side of the gateway uh, network. When two gateways, such as whether the call manager or Cisco router, that communicate with each other, as long as IP connection is available and H323 process is running, it does not really care whether the T1 is up or not, or the voice port is capable of sending calls or not. So as far as the uh, gateway concerned, that if there is an IP connection to the remote gateway, my gate, my H323 gateway is up and running. Now, of course, it does not mean the call will succeed, but at least uh, this might be an issue, especially when you're doing redundancy or when you want to ensure that uh, the call completion will, be, will succeed. So this is one of the problems with the peer-to-peer -peer architecture. Each gateway act and function on its own. There is no dependency of the other gateway. Now, with H323 gateway, when you have 